Hi guys, how is going? In this video I am going to show you top 5 shooter games for low end PC. If you new in my channel then please subscribe, and if you already subscribed my channel then thank you. Project IGI is a tactical first person shooter video game developed by Innerloop Studios, and released in December 2000 by IDOS Interactive. It was praised for its sound design and graphics, thanks in part to its use of a proprietary game engine that was previously used in Innerloop's Joint Strike Fighter. The protagonist Jones, with the help of Anya, infiltrates the base of Jack Priboy in order to capture him and extract the knowledge of the stolen warhead. While Jack Priboy is taken away in a helicopter by Jones, the chopper is shot down by Ek. The Russians take Priboy, as well as Jones' equipment. Jones then has to clear the border and find his equipment. He then hijacks the train carrying Priboy and takes him in for interrogation. Learning about the involvement of Ek, he sets off to catch her and find the nuclear weapon. Ek escapes on her first meeting with Jones, but Jones kills her after finding her second hideout as well. It was followed up in 2003 by I.G.I-2, Covert Strike. Project IGI2 is a tactical shooter computer game developed by Innerloop Studios and released by Codemasters in 2003. The game is a stealth-based first-person shooter. It is the sequel to Innerloop's Project IGI. Covert Strike added multiplayer play and limited save game capability. Chris Ryan, a former Special Air Service operative best known for being the lone successful escapee of Bravo 20, served as a consultant to the game. The game's plot features a rogue Chinese general, Wu Xing as the primary antagonist. Xing orchestrates various events, such as armed robbery of advanced prototype technology from the Russian Mafia, in order to get electromagnetic pulse EMP, weaponry on a space rocket that he has launch control over. The game is divided into 19 missions. The story is presented in cutscenes, shown before and after every mission, with animated characters rendered in real-time and pre-recorded speech. Missions have objectives that must be completed before the mission ends. Straightforward approaches are not encouraged, with stealthy and covert movement giving the player a better rating, rank and chance of survival, with the highest attainable ranking entitled David Jones. Multiple paths exist for every mission, with the most obvious and daunting being a noisy gunfight, because in every mission Jones is outnumbered. Every mission presents an opportunity for large groups of enemies to be bypassed or sneaked past, undiscovered. Certain missions even require entire operations to be carried out undetected. At the start of a new game, a difficulty level can be chosen, changing the number of bullets Jones takes before dying, the intelligence of the enemy and group AI, and the number of save games available. Counter-Strike, Source is a first-person shooter video game. As in the original, Counter-Strike, Source pits a team of counter-terrorists against a team of terrorists in a series of rounds. Each round is won either by completing an objective, such as detonating a bomb or rescuing hostages, or by eliminating all members of the enemy team. The game was initially bundled with all retail and digital copies of Half-Life 2, before being released standalone. Counter-Strike, Source retains its team-based objective-orientated first-person shooter-style gameplay. The aim of playing a map is to accomplish a map's objective, defusing the bomb, rescuing all hostages, or killing the entire opposing team. The ultimate goal of the game is to win more rounds than the opposing team. Once players are killed, they do not respawn until the next round, though this depends on which server people play on. This gameplay feature distinguishes Counter-Strike from other first-person shooter games, where players respawn instantly or after a short delay. Shooting while moving dramatically decreases accuracy, and holding the trigger down to continuously shoot produces severe recoil. The severity of damage induced by weaponry is dependent upon the specific locations of hits, with hits to the head being most lethal and shots which make contact elsewhere causing lesser loss of health. Damage is also affected by the distance, and if the target wears protection. Delta Force, Black Hawk Down is a first-person shooter video game. It is set in the early 1990s during the Unified Task Force peacekeeping operation in Somalia. The missions take place primarily in the southern Juba Valley, and the capital Mogadishu. The game also features a mission editor with which players can make custom missions. The gameplay in Delta Force, Black Hawk Down differs heavily from earlier installments in the series. While all earlier Delta Force games focus on long-distance outdoor combat and have open-ended mission design, Black Hawk Down focuses on close-quarters combat in urban environments with heavily scripted missions more similar to the then-recent Medal of Honor, Allied Assault. 
Many of the series' trademark features, such as bullet ballistics and later weapon sway, were abandoned in favor of simpler action-focused gameplay. The player is usually accompanied by a squad of three AI-controlled soldiers, whom the player is able to give simple commands such as the order to hold fire, hold position, or throw a grenade. Like in earlier Delta Force games, the campaign in Black Hawk Down is divided into distinct missions. While the campaign is linear, most of the time three missions are available at the same time, allowing the player to complete them in any order. Completing a mission saves the campaign progress and usually unlocks a new one. The online multiplayer has a matchmaking system. Various gameplay modes are available, including Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, and King of the Hill, as well as objective-based ones. Like in the previous two Delta Force games, players can choose one out of several character classes with individual characteristics. Battlefield 2 is a first-person shooter game with some strategy and tactical shooter elements. The single-player aspect features missions that involve clashes between US Marines, China, and the fictional Middle Eastern Coalition. The multiplayer aspect of the game allows players to organize into squads that come under the leadership of a single commander to promote teamwork. The story takes place in the early 21st century during a fictional world war between various power blocs, China, the European Union, the fictional Middle Eastern Coalition, MEC, Russia, and the United States. The game takes place in different fronts, as the Middle East and China are being invaded by US and EU forces, and the United States is being invaded by Chinese and MEC forces. Battlefield 2 is a multiplayer video game played via the internet or on a local area network. A single-player mode with three difficulty levels is included. Both player modes use the same maps and use Battlefield's Conquest game mode. Single-player mode allows 16 computer-controlled players, while internet mode allows up to 64 players. Players can choose to play as the United States Marine Corps, the People's Liberation Army, or the Middle Eastern Coalition. Additional factions are playable through the expansion packs, such as the European Union. Progress in the game is made via promotions which allow additional weapons to be unlocked. By playing the game on ranked servers, players are able to add to their global player statistics. These statistics are used to award promotions and other achievements.